What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Xbox error code 0x803F8001 for your Series S or X or your One device. So let's get right into this. This is the error that says you own this game or app that may come up, and there's a few reasons why this is coming up, and I'm going to talk about a few ways to fix this essentially. So let's assume it was Destiny that you're getting this error with, and no other game, right? So you're going to do a few things. If you press the options or start button, the ones with the three lines on your Xbox controller, you want to go to manage games game and add-on there's a few things that could be happening here the first let's and we'll go step by step the first is you want to click into that itself you want to press select all here and do save changes it's entirely possible there was more than one file that was not properly installed and you want to install them the next one is you want to go one below and it'll say update available most likely if you're getting this error a lot of times you need to do the update and you want to press update all and have the update installed obviously if it's like destiny or cod is or whatever it's going to take some time for the update to download the next thing is it's entirely possible that this game itself is saved not in the console storage but like in an external storage so you can see this is an internal storage it's possible that this was saved in an external storage device because i recall this happened to my friend and you have to like kind of transfer it over from your external to your internal to play certain games I don't know why, but some games are like that. You have to do this. The second thing you can do is technically go back in and delete the game and reinstall it from the store, not from like your uh, game devices. So you don't want to go to, uh, where is it? There's usually a place here, like here, from my games and apps. Do not do it from here. You want to go to the Microsoft store, search the game again, and install it again from there. And the final thing you can do is uh, you want to go into settings. You want to go into account, you want to do remove account, and you want to remove your account. For some reason, there could be some sync-ish errors, you want to call it that, with the network, where it's not properly saying you own the game. So you want to remove the account, turn off your console, turn it back on, sign in, and you should be good to go. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy you guys out. If you guys are over like the video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like that notification button. Oh, that, welcome out.